What the brap's up everyone, Cody with two wheels in a tent. In motorcycle camping, there's many levels. I'm gonna show you a picture of our first level on a dirt bike with no rack on the fender and all this weight, it's pretty funny. Since then, I have been moto camping all over Utah, Idaho, and Arizona. And I've been fortunate enough to do it with somebody who actually does it full time on YouTube, lives off his bike for over a year now. I believe we're really close so a professional motorcycle camper and friend Tim thank you anyway I'm gonna show you my setup from 2019 I hope it helps you get where you want to go let's get into it real quickly gonna go over shelter and sleeping first I'll take this sleeping bag use it as a blanket take my sea to summit sleeping bag spark 2 nice and compact it's about the uh, size of my head but seriously, this bag, for as comfortable and as light as it is, to be able to pack up this small, and you could even squish it down more. But uh, it's been my best buddy for a lot of camps this year. In case it gets very cold, I'm gonna take the Thermalite Fabric Reactor Extreme, which is supposed to help 15 degrees or so. Also very compact. It's a sleeping bag liner supposed to add 15 degrees to be using the big Agnes copper spur HV UL2 bike packing tent we've got the big Agnes copper spur HV high volume UL2 bike packing edition just means that these poles go to 12 inches compact which is awesome and my new sea to summit comfort plus self insulating sleeping pad in this little bag, I've got my Eros pillow, very compact. A tarp for the footprint, very compact. An extra just in case pillow from Amazon. Some extra tent stakes. My headlamp, which is a Petzl with the Noctilite, very cool. And my titanium hammer. All of this fits neatly inside this little storage bag. Also, be using just an outdoors product dry bag just to keep this in. Also going to throw my Helenic ground chair. Yes, it's still with me. The Helenix ground chair. I think it's chair zero now is the closest. It's still kicking, kicking butt in here as well. So I have the sleeping bag, sleeping pad, and the chair, and the sleeping bag liner in here. I'm going to keep the tent and these supplies separate so that they're easily accessible to set up camp. Also inside the bag, I'm going to throw my cold gear, shirt and pants, as well as a beanie for sleeping or if it's cold or just to make videos when my hair's a mess. Next, we'll put in the sleeping pad. Get all the air out. Up, buckle it, it's ready to go. Now we'll get into the kitchen cook set. Have the nano press for coffee. Collapsible mug. Water filter. The Moro knife. Comes with a fire starter, which works great. An extra headlamp, another fire starter, GSI salt and pepper shaker, the Kershaw spork, and the jet oil, which I just used electrical tape to keep it closed. And that will go on a side bag. On to clothing. pair of long jones, three pair of underwear, four pair of socks. All in here. Bringing some camp shorts. Go into this bag for now. Have the camp shirt. Give me long sleeve, short sleeve. It's vented so I don't sweat to this. Keep the bugs off. Not add too much heat. 
and camp pants, which also have a zipper to become shorts. Could probably just do with pants that turn into shorts, but it's the first time it's a learning experience. We'll see. All those just in here, which I can use this for trash later, or laundry, or whatever. Those will go on a side bag, and probably one more t-shirt, and that's it. All right, for safety equipment, let's just go through what I'm going to be taking. Keep in mind, most of this will be on my body, so having room on the bike isn't too big of a deal. Let's just go through it. I've got the 509 helmet, complete with visor be anti-fog also the sun gets really bright I don't know if you can see that very well but it's got uh, shade which comes in very nice and then it has a dust mask to keep the dusties out so that's the helmet for the boots I think I'm going with my comp fives they're a little less rigid than my instinct boots shouldn't be doing too much technical stuff so these are more like a boot, yet still offer protection. So I think I'll be going with those. That's to be determined. For the hands, I got the Fox Bomber gloves with D30 knuckles. That has saved my knuckles countless times, but one time for sure, 30 miles an hour down in a dirt gravel road. I didn't have a scratch on my hands, that was very nice. For the legs, I'll be wearing my CTI knee braces. Wear them every time I ride. Getting older, the knees aren't great anyway. You know these things have saved me. For the wrist, since I just broke it not too long ago. The Mobius X8 wrist guard. And I swear by this. I cut my cast off early, did a race, had this on, saved my butt. And I guarantee on the Punisher, my second time up the Punisher, this thing saved me from another broken wrist, I am certain. And we have my Olympia jacket. Yes, very bright. But the reason I'm taking this one, it's very vented. All this black is mesh. So as long as you're moving, it stay pretty cool. Uh, it has armor inside. And it also has a zip-in insulated jacket. In case it gets cold and if it starts raining like crazy, it has a rain jacket that you can put over the top of it. And for pants, I will be wearing my Climb. I believe these are the Carlsbad. Uh, they have D30 in the butt, in the hips, in the knees, and they're Gore-Tex. So take care of the rain and they're a little warm but protection and waterproof so that's what I'm going with there and that's it for safety other than just a little first aid kit with various items in it. Taking a couple extra items one to review and two just for fun I am meeting someone which you will find out more about later but I'm going to take my small two-person Nemo Hornet 2P tent Hardly takes any room, weighs like two and a half pounds with the poles. So that's an extra. And I'm taking two hammocks just to see if we get to use them. Don't know. If we get to use them, that would be cool. As far as tools, I'm going to bring a tire patching kit. I'm on tubeless tires. Some Allen's and some assorted tools. And since you stuck around, yes, I'm going to do the Idaho BDR with Tim Collins from 40 Times Around. Totally excited. Video will be coming soon. Thanks for tuning in. Check back later. And come join the adventure. I'm just going to look out, like, stoically.